Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find the value of line integral over a vector field f. Okay, so vector field I have already written here f of x, y, z is equal to x square minus x and 1. So what is a given curve C here? So C is a, they have clearly mentioned, it's a circle with radius 1 and center at origin. So we have a circle radius 1 and center at origin and which lies in yz plane. The circle lies in yz plane. So that means we will have circle like this. Okay, I'm drawing a circle here which is in yz plane center at origin and radius is 1, 0, 1, 0. Right and here 0, 0, 1. So our circle lies in yz plane. And they have clearly mentioned it moves in an anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise direction, okay. So yes, it is in anti-clockwise direction and viewed from the positive x-axis. Anti-clockwise or you can say counter-clockwise, both of them have the same meaning, get it? So after that, what we have to do, we have to find its parameterization. So let us find its parameterization. A parameterization, parameterization of given curve C, given curve C is, okay, I'm calling it as alpha, which is defined on close interval 0 to 2 pi to R3, get it? So I have defined on close interval 0 to 2 pi since we have to cover a complete circle, okay? So that's why angle should be from 0 to 2 pi to cover a complete circle. So that's why I consider interval 0 to 2 pi here. And you, you can easily see that uh, curve C, which is a circle in R3. So that's why its codomain should be R3. And we will define in this way, defined as, defined as alpha of t is equal to. So you know that that circle completely lies in yz plane. So that's why x coordinate must be zero. So when we have a circle, we always consider r cos theta and r sin theta. That will be the standard parameterization. But r means radius which is 1 here, so that's why I should write here cos t comma sin t, getting actually r cos t, r sin t. So here a radius is 1, so that's why we are defining it this way. So that is a parameterization of a given circle C, which lies in yz plane with center 0, 0, 0 origin and radius is 1. So now we have a parameterization. After that, what we do, we find its derivative. Let us find its derivative alpha dash of t. Component wise derivative is very easy, derivative of 0 is 0, derivative of cos t is minus sin t and derivative of sin t is cos t. After that one more thing is required that is f of alpha of t. Let us find it. Okay. So we have some space. Let us use now. So now f of alpha of t, right? So this is equal to f of. What is our alpha of t? 0 cos t sin t. Let us follow the definition of f. Definition of f is x square minus xy1. That means we take square of first component. So square of first component is 0 obviously. Minus xy minus product of first and second component. Product of first and second component is 0 since 0 into anything 0. So 0 into cos t we will have 0. Last 1 okay which is constant it is fixed. So we'll have one. So this is f of alpha of t. After that, we will follow the definition of line integral of vector field and we will solve the problem. Okay, make a screenshot of it first. Then we will go further. Okay. I have removed the diagram. So we are getting some space to write. Okay. Then integration of f over c. So this is, uh, we have to follow the definition of line integral of a vector field since f is a vector field here. So integration, our parameterization alpha defined on close interval 0 comma 2 pi. So I should write 0 to 2 pi. Definition says inner product of f of alpha of t comma alpha dash of t dt. So this is equal to integration 0 to 2 pi inner product of. Let us put these values. f of alpha of t is 0, 0, 1, right? Alpha dash of t, where is it? Here. 0 minus sine t cos t okay inner product is over i should write dt so you know that how to find value of inner product so electricity is gone here but let us continue okay 
so integration 0 to 2 pi so you know well how to find the inner product first component into first second into second third into third 0 into 0 0 plus 0 into sin t 0 plus 1 into cos t we will have simply cos t dt okay so first two are 0 so that's why simply we got here cos t what is the integration of cos t it is sin t so let me mention here sin t with limit 0 to 2 pi now we will put upper limit sin 2 pi is 0 if i put lower limit sin 0 is 0 so the final answer is also 0 okay so 0 is our required answer make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye